Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house, the Australian half today. Today we have Easy OS from the old Barry Cowler, yeah, of Puppy Lynx fame. Easy OS is his little baby at the moment he's working on, and it's quite nice. I've been following it for quite a while, and this is the best one yet, okay? The best one yet, yeah, trust me. Now, Easy OS is fully containerized, so if you want to say browse the web, in a container, here you can. You can containerize anything you like. So I've just one clicked, yeah, just one clicked it, and we get Sea Monkey come up with the start page. We're going to come back to that in a minute and get on with it. Okay, it looks like Puppy Linux, it works like Puppy Linux, it basically is, but it has quite a few different things. Plus, this has got a lot of Debian stuff in it, yeah, Debian Buster. Mmm, yeah, so quite a lot different. So, Basically, on our home page, we have home, <coughs> my desktop in, www, that is for your web browser. Now, can you see there's no padlock on it? Anything with a padlock is a container. Yeah, so you're yeah, quite safe. Also, get apps, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Pet get, you will know. SFS get, we're going to use that in a second. Set up, edit, and console. Console is the terminal, secure here. Connect and share, these are for when you want to do safe sharing or easy sharing okay easy easy peasy okay i've only downloaded two apps here which is simple screen recorder so i can record it so you can see what i'm doing and the latest version of firefox okay so i'm gonna right click desktop and we're gonna do it this way now if you've used puppy linux before you will know this okay most of this you will know but i'm going to go to the jwm desk manager so it loads up for us now, I really don't like these icons, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is change my icons. I'll go to icon themes. That's a bit better. A bit of color. We're using Easy White 2. Now, if you're hard of sight or lack of sight, the white will probably be really good for you because it stands out. Whether Barry's losing his sight, I don't know, but maybe he's just getting old like me, okay? But I'm gonna go for the multicolor marbles, yeah? We click there, click okay, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you're away. We've got a bit of colour on the screen at last. It looks a little bit different. Here you can change your backgrounds. Now there's not many by default, but remember you can put them in the background folder as many as you want. We could have, have the Sunlet set, sun, yeah, Sunset Jesse, the puppy wallpaper from back in the day, light grey, light blue, easy black 2, easy black C, default, etc. I'm just going to exit that, don't want to change it just yet. You can change your mouse cursor. Your screen font, your screen save, your icon manager, the list goes on. There's a basic setup here. Hotkeys to set up your hotkeys and default apps. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? If I scroll, oh, see it's really, really quick on this test machine as well. Now remember, it runs from a USB drive mainly, okay? You can install it to a hard drive if you want to, but just get yourself a 16 or 32 gig drive and you're away. You don't have to do anything. Now when you first boot the system, it takes a little while, okay? Then it asks you to choose your language for your keyboard, and then asks you to choose a password, and it will ask this every time because it's encrypted. Yeah, it encrypts it every time, so you need that password. So don't forget it if you do it, otherwise nothing's gonna happen, okay? Anyway, we're still in desktop. Screen save control, it's still here. Set all your clerks and your ex clients and your clipboards. Go to system, a Bluetooth manager, boot manager configure, Hardware info, shall I go there? Let's have a look. What's my hardware info today? Well, it's the test machine, as you know. There we go, we'll make that a little bit bigger for you so you can see what we're doing. It's the i7-5960 test machine. We're doing our stuff. Everything about us here. The operating system here is here. Distribution, Easy Buster, so Easy OS Buster 64, as it's 64 bit. Do not forget that, okay? Okay, second part, setup. <clears throat> Check all your dependencies. I'm going to go through some of these because some of you may have never used Puppy Linux before. So you might want to give this a try because it's not going to affect your system whatsoever. Quick setup, first runs, they're all there, all your firewall stuff. It asks you to do all this when you first boot up, basically. There's the installer, okay. There's the, the front end if you want to burn another one. Grab for DOS bootloader, all here. And remaster it yourself, which a lot of people will probably do. Easy apps, launch favourite apps. What's there? I hear you cry. Okay, so you remember this from years ago. <clears throat> I don't know who first started using this one, but I'm going back quite a few years. 
So under business, we have calculator, calendar. It's all here for you. A planner, a schedule manager, spreadsheets. I've heard spreadsheets. It's LibreOffice. Okay, and you're saying, well, is that an old one? No, it's not, guys. Guys, it's not. It's 6152. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Quite new, don't you think? Go to documents. <clears throat> a book reader, a HTML editor, a PDF manager to edit and manage your documents. Not just read them, so you can convert them and do anything you want to. Yeah, super. The scanner things here. Word processor. Now, some people say, well, that's going to be Abbey Word. No, it's all LibreOffice here. We've gone a bit high-tech in the puppy world. But that's why it's called EasyOS. Maybe Puppy will go down this route. We never know. I think it should, actually. Because it's got a little bit stagnant. And we need to, like, give it a kick up the backside, if you know what I mean. So we have a bitmap editor. Diagram. What else here? Paint. What's paint? Let's have a look. Oh, exactly what it says. It's MT Paint. It does what it says. Super. Presentation software. That will be LibreOffice. Get a screenshot. Should we get a screenshot? Yeah, why not? Click it. See what happens. Goes to my route, give me PNG, take a shot. And we're done. And there it is. Super. I'm going to quit that. That's good. Under internet, you've got your browser, which we know what it is. I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm not going to go through everything because you can go and do it yourself. The download is only 500 megabytes. No gigs, only megabytes still. Bear in mind, puppy started 100 meg years and years and years ago. 500 is still pretty good because we're using 64-bit and a lot larger apps because it's meant for slightly newer setups, if you know what I mean. So if you've got a medium to higher machine, it's going to run super. And because you've got that containerization and you want to be a bit a bit woe, a bit way, you can do it that way. Utilities. <clears throat> Calculate again. See, they're, they're repeated here. I said recorded there, didn't I? And then you've got my apps where you can have some hotkeys, yeah? So that's that. If I click here... We're back where we are. So we've got desktop, cursor themes. Now we went through this before, do you remember? Yes, we just did. You can set up all your cameras and your input devices, your audio. Oh, by the way, if you use this, remember to set up your microphone if you want to do screen recording. It won't, won't work for you. Okay. The second one here is what's that? Oh, that's X Archiver. This one's for your file system. Open my file system up. If we go to the light bulb. Ooh, that's busy. I like it. Okay. Then here we have a cog, P run. I'll look into that. And here is hate stop. Just over a gig it's running. Just over a gig. 60 frames a second, remember? 60 frames. If you were doing 30 frames a second, it would be under a gig, which is very unusual. Very, very unusual. Which means while you're recording, you can actually do a lot more stuff. So I rest my case. So, you want to get an inst and install a containerized app. So if we go to FSF get, so the squash file system, yeah, that one will do for me for now, and we'll go to FSF. You can choose another one here. So, but we're going to keep to actually no, we'll go to the ones in the Netherlands and see what they got. If I click on SFS, it will go and browse and check the repository. While it's doing that, I'm going to have a bit of drinkage. Mm. Very nice it is too. Now this could take some time. It may not. We'll soon find out, won't we? So I'll wait a bit longer. Well, wait a bit longer. That's a long probe, isn't it? It's a long probe of probing there into the Netherlands. I thought it was going to be a bit quicker than that. Or maybe it's gone bang, but I think it's doing something. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go over here. We'll do something else. So if I go back into my containerized system and click here, I'll wait for it to do its stuff. So we're opening up C Monkey in the container, yeah? So here we are. So let's go to how it works. User. And see what happens. There we go. So layered system. So everything gets written to RAM, okay? So that's why it runs as root. It's all written to RAM. And remember, it's all doing all its stuff how it should do. If you've never used it before, go and give it a try. Because you may like it, okay? We go to the EasyOS org, which is the main one. How and why EasyOS is different. And let's go through this with you really quickly. Container friendly. It's named Easy Containers as designed from the scratch. It's using Docker LXC, etc. They're not used at all. They're extremely efficient with no overhead. So they're not going to use too much stuff. Everything is totally isolated in RAM. Okay. 
As I said before, Runners has always been controversial in Pappy, but most people use it, don't really care because nobody else is going to use it. It lives on a USB stick and it's encrypted. Who cares? Okay. You do not have to have a full install. Once you plug it in, okay, and you boot up and still do all the stuff it needs, it will can do the rest of the stuff for you. Now, did we have anything else happen here? No, it's still probing. So I can't even show you that. Maybe that'll snap online. So we'll leave that a little bit longer. We'll do something else. Okay, utilities. Loads of stuff here. But as I said to you before, if you're used to Puppy Linux, you're going to like this. Okay, And it's blisteringly fast. Super fast. Faster than the fast thing or the fast thing. Graphics. GIMP is here. So you're thinking, what sort of GIMP is it? Let's have a look. Boom. See how quick that was? Yeah, I know. What version? Let's check it out. Where are we using manual about? That's what we want. It's 2108, so it's quite recent. I'm liking it. As long as you are, I don't care. Okay, so we've done graphic. Inkscape is here, by the way. So there's something we like that. Solve Space Parametrics 3D CAD. Now, this I'm going to have to look at. Ooh. Now, that's different, isn't it? I'm going to have a play with that one. There's so much here that's new since I've used anything before. Okay. Is that enough on graphics? Let's have a look further down. Oh, screening again, take a shot. This is what I really like. PZ Scale JPEG Resizer. Ah, oh, fantastic. You drag it into here, your uh, JPEG, and it'll rescale it for you straight away. No fluffing around, no fluffing, no nothing. It will do it. Yeah, super. We'll go straight into documents now. The LibreOffice Start Center. Shall I open it up? Let's have a look. See what happens. It's all here. The only one that's not there is Math Formula, which you can install from the pet get. Okay, so that'd be good. Business, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all there. Oh, we're here. It's finally probed all our packages that we need. Now, these are for Debian Buster, and they're all the same three ones that I had before. Okay, so we want Chromium. Okay, that's the one we want. I'm going to download this. You ready? Five, five, three, two, one. Click on there. In theory, that should come down really, really quickly. And it is nice and fast. Nearly finished. Oh, I didn't go get a drink in here, am I? Yeah. And I'm going to install that as a new container. Okay. So this version of Chromium is going to be containerized, like so. There it is on my desktop. If I click it, obviously because of container, it's going to take a little while longer than normal. Okay. But hey, looks good to me. If I go here, and this actually looks better than Sea Monkey, by the way. I won't show you that just yet, because I'm going to do a few more videos on this. I'll go to YouTube. We'll click here. Pretty fast. If I go to me. And we get, oh, that's one I done the other night for Scratax. So we click on Scratax. We get the boring advert. One, two, uh, no, there's, there's two adverts in this. I hope I'll get some money for that one. Okay, and there we go. There's my video. I'm going to skip it. There you go. It's running super fine. It's running at 720 at the moment. Let's go up to 1080p. See what it does. It should be fine. You know what? I might even go for it. No, I won't bother going for full screen because you know what it's like. But yeah, it's running super fine. So that's containerized Chromium. Yeah. So we'll come out of that container. It's super. Okay, what else can I show you? Well, I'm not going to show you too much because I'm going to be doing more stuff on this. Uh, network, load of stuff here. The firewall you set up when you start. Internet, all here. YouTube downloaded, I don't think it actually works anymore. I don't think I want to test it because I, I don't like it. Though. Multimedia, as I said, only simple screen recorder I've installed here, and that's about it. Under fun, two games. Okay, That's all you get. Now, ooh, I have to click the same one now. I'll cancel that and get rid of that. Exit, there you go. On the whole, I really like this. It's really, really come of age. When I first started using it, it was buggy. The recorders didn't work. Uh, screen flickering and stuff like that. But now, I can't complain, can I? Easy OS 2191. Go and give it a try. At half a gig. Why not? Super duper. Five up, thumbs up from me. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>